I'm Mitch, and this is Telephone Tuesdays here at This Museum Is Not Obsolete. Today, we're going to be talking all about electromechanical selectors. In the most basic terms, these are switches. So, just like this rotary switch, they go around and switch between different inputs or outputs. But of course, the cool thing about these ones is that you don't have to move them with your hand, they move electromechanically on their own. Within the telephone exchange, there are loads of different types of selectors that are used. We're going to first look at the uniselectors. This is a type 2 uniselector, slightly more heavy duty version of a type 1 uniselector. And you can see it working here if I actuate it by my hand. You can see this little bit here spinning around the bank of contacts. That is the wiper. That is the common terminal that comes in and then gets switched to all of these outlets. You see these terminals here, well they connect through to these ones on the outside and that's where you put all your wires going off to other parts of the exchange. But that's not interesting, we want to move it with electricity. How do you do that? Well, you do it with electromagnetism. In here, if you can see this brown bit just inside there, that is a big massive coil of wire. You put a current through that, that makes a magnetic field and moves this big armature plate here. And this armature is connected through here to this thing. This is a pawl, a P-A-W-L, which is part of the ratchet system here. You see it indexes with the teeth on this cog. And as you move the armature, it moves the pawl round and pulls the cog round, which moves the wipers around the bank of contacts. This is a Type 4 uniselector. It's a little miniature version of this. This one has 25 bank contacts and this one has uh, 12. <laughs> I forgot how many. But it's pretty much exactly the same. If you look, it's got a coil of wire here. It's got an armature around there. If you look around the back, it's got a pull and a cog and that moves the wiper around. So both of these are uni selectors and they're called uni selectors because they move in one direction. Now we're going to talk about two motion selectors and you guessed it, they move in two directions. And just like the uni selectors, these have wipers and banks and you can see the wipers here and this plugs into a cradle here that has a load of banks of contacts. There's 10 levels up and 10 positions that you can move around to motion selector. So 10 up, 10 across, that's 100 possible positions. Technically 11 across, but and let me demonstrate that switching for you. Here we go, let's dial a six, and it steps up six levels, goes across to the next group selector. Let's take a look at the next one. Dial another six, there it goes. In this UAX 13 type exchange, we have three different types of two motion selector. We've got the line finders, we've got a big old group of group selectors, and we've got some final selectors up here. And we have some uniselectors which are working as allotters. So one of those two motion selectors that we were just looking at, those are all 2000 type. And this is an earlier pre-2000 type in this 1930s exchange that we have at the museum. You can see they're a lot bigger and bulkier and you understand why they wanted to shrink them down. And it's much harder to maintain these because the cradles are actually bolted onto them. You can't just unplug them like you do on the UAX-13. The museum also has a really interesting collection of all these really odd type pre-2000 selectors from all different manufacturers. We also have a couple of 4000 type selectors which are a bit rarer to see. Really, they warrant their own video. So that was a very broad overview of all the different types of electromechanical selector we have in the telephone exchanges here at the museum. If you want to see more good stuff from the museum, you can click on the Patreon link below and that supports all of the good stuff that happens. This is Telephone Tuesdays. I'm Mitch and I will see you next Tuesday.